see one more important topic here that is like javascript functions okay javascript functions are a reusable statements they are a uh, the function itself it is a it, it will do certain operation and which can be recalled wherever we can able to call the i mean uh, function wherever we where, wherever we are calling the function that particular statements whatever uh, the function is written so that will be applicable or there so you, you can we can have a parameterized and also parameterless functions in javascript okay these functions are reusable and also that makes an advantage so code code redundancy will become less actually means uh, uh, writing same statements again and again will that that work will become less if we if we are using functions if we are if we are using functions so first uh, the syntax of the functions is like this actually see let me take this functions okay here like function in general a function structure will be like function function name function name and uh, and it will be having some flower braces and here like statements statements okay in general a function will look like this so so if we want a parameters we can use params but what about the params if we want to use so if we want we want to pass any variable we can able to pass to the function okay so this is just like a syntax let things like think like this is a syntax so next thing is like suppose i am going to write a function and i am writing like my function like a sample sam function so here in this function i am taking some data here i am returning uh, i am just returning i am returning some uh, you know uh, data here let us think uh, i am returning delhi okay so once once ever if anybody calling this function he will be getting the value as delhi okay so how can i call this function so next next step is how can i call this function so we can able to call this function with sam function and directly i can able to copy this one here means uh, i can able to do with parenthesis and uh, close braces yeah. so now i have i am console logging this one so let me check what it is turning here so let us go for the editor so once uh, reveal in finder here i am having and i am going to open this one here so here i am finding here what what it is written delhi it is written suppose if you want to pass it if you want to pass this variable uh, the delhi value to an you know para or something so this is the para demo para already we are having here so if we are checking one second demo and uh, this is the para id so for this para if i want to pass whatever the function is written in right so i can able to pass directly okay so now i am going back to the chrome and i am checking yeah i can able to check the value whatever the function is returning so what what you are having is this function is returning something whatever 
you are doing with the function it should return something it should return some value or a string or a object likewise or a array so this kind of values it should return okay it should return those kind of values okay so if i want to give some additional data okay delhi is capital of india okay so i am taking this value here are you people with me yes yeah, sir okay so now what now what it will return should return delhi is capital of india okay capital of india so shall i do bit uh, you know uh, numerics yeah i can able to pass a numeric also with some 215 and i am going to the chrome and check it i can able to pass numerics also alpha numerics also i can able to send the data to the sample function okay so this is like this is just like a non parameterized function okay so let us think i have a parameterized function okay so let us think i have a variable a and b okay and i want to return a value i want to return a value by adding this two for example i am here i am having here c where c and i am returning c where c is equal to where c is equal to a plus b a plus b so now what this function will do you, you will have some basic idea like this function is doing some adding it is going to do some adding but how you are getting what what it is adding it is just adding a two variables it is just adding two variables but where are you passing this values means where are you going to pass this a value and b value means you are going you are going to do some uh, while you are calling the function you are going to pass those values so that it will replicate here and it will add the values and it will return the value c so uh, let me uh, take this function in the console.log first i will see in the console.log samp function param so what are what are we are passing here we should pass some 3 comma 4 two variables okay so let me sorry let me go for this and refresh okay so what is the value here 3 plus 4 is 8 3 plus 4 is 8 okay so the the thing is here the important thing is the uh, this function is going to return an operation what by, by values whatever we are passing whatever we are passing the above function is an example of non parameterized function this is parameterized function we are we are passing the parameters some 3 comma 4 and they are replicated here and it is returning c okay it is returning c so yeah that uh, that's an, uh, you people are having any doubt up to here no no sir no sir no sir no okay so yeah okay so yeah we can we can also get whatever the variable uh, we are we are having here we can also get that variable in a uh, suppose a result i have a result and i have 3 comma 4 console dot log as comma this 
the result is 7 the result is 7 we can also get it to a particular variable okay so now whatever the value we are having here variable c can i able to access it outside okay actually we cannot able to access the c value because if you are if you are uh, declaring any variable inside a function that will come as function scoped it is a function scoped it won't be having the uh, the scope of this function or uh, what, whatever declared inside the function cannot able to access outside the function okay see i'm got a reference c is not defined c value cannot is not defined why because but one once we are declaring anything within the scope of the function then it is it will act like only within that scope only the uh, after this of uh, once it is finding the function scope end okay it will terminate its scope the scope of the function will be i mean deactivated so from here it will take like it the c value as a new value okay that's the uh, one one of the basic thing and uh, i think uh, these are objects so let me uh, let us go for some events actually events uh, how to i mean we do have some uh, button click event so we will see those events now okay so let us go for events whatever the body i am uh, we are having here so that for that one i am going to do click and i am giving some this this bit okay and uh, i am i am ending this one this button and uh, i am going to get the uh, time time and date okay so for this once i am clicking on this button if i click on this button it should display that the, the time time value okay so it should trigger this function so it will go and check the function available here or not so if we are refreshing this i am getting the time value so let me come and this see c value is not defined because c is a function scope next so if i am try to if i try to do some time and data if i click on that it, it will tell like this data is not defined nothing will be happening why because this this data uh, das data uh, like uh, is is like uh, not available there is they we, we didn't write any function or statements uh, i mean regarding that so we have to uh, display some uh, data actually so for that what i am going to do i am going to write a function here i am going to write a function here das data and uh, i am going to take document dot get element by id and uh, i am giving here demo so whatever demo we are having right the demo i am going to use and in our html and i am going to use some date function okay so let me comment out this one for now and check okay so if we are check, if I, if i am clicking on it you will be finding this date format one is like wednesday and december 
30 2020 and uh, gmt and this is uh, hours minutes and seconds okay likewise you can able to i mean uh, i mean do a click event in a javascript with on click event okay a part of uh, that um, yeah so yeah on on yeah. on click event is and uh, some are there they are strings actually so uh, we already saw some of the concatenation of the string and all so uh, and also we we just want to uh, so if we if we want to uh, you know uh, do some uh, methods there are some methods for the strings like uh, length and also like uh, you know uh, index of so we will see them uh, slowly one 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 after the other so let us go for strings actually so where uh, i have some str is equal to some uh, you know some phrase okay let str str uh, new and the st. okay so i just uh, want to if i want to concatenate the both what is the uh, i mean uh, thing i just want to take some more value and str plus str new and i have to console log the console log str underscore this str underscore this okay so now i can able to find out that uh, string value here I can able to find out the concatenated value here but uh, i want the you know uh, length of them length of that how can i get the length of the particular uh, string rest uh, right length okay. so i can now get the value as 22 this is the length of the you know string the concatenated string okay so if i want to if i want to get some you know um index uh, index of of a particular var uh, variable right so uh, or a particular uh, string i want to know the index of particular string okay so at that point of time i have index of method index of method so to call it str underscore s index of and here i have to mention the traces means that is the uh, you know uh, thing here index of uh, this uh, i mean this variable or this uh, string okay now not that string so it will tell like fourth for zero one two three four from fourth point onwards we are going to start this raises right so that's how it will show the value it will show the 12 the index of it okay um suppose uh, if, if we are having a you know last index uh value let us think uh, if we are having some uh where there is one more function like a last index value what it will return it will return um uh, minus one if they if they if it is not found okay one second yeah so let us uh, take one more function that is uh, raises last index last index of last index of so 
here I am happy last index of and uh, one second last index of so here again I am having some raises okay two two things I have one is this one other one is also this uh, this raises okay so now it will tell like last index is on 23rd okay 23rd means here right 1 23 24 20 25 26 27 28 means totally 29 of length that's what it is displaying okay. the length also and also last index value this is the last last index value actually it means last uh, uh, repeated uh, string so if i want to find out in a string like a uh, unknown unknown value let us think like some uh, jack some unknown value i want to get it means if it is returning minus one means that value is not available okay that uh, um, value is not available that that is the meaning of it so if i want to search a particular uh, string inside in, in, I, I mean inside the statement then it is uh, like this we have to we go for a search uh, statement and uh, we have to go for raises okay uh, i am going to to here search four search four okay so in the fourth index i have got the value raises in the fourth index i got the value uh, this one uh, raises and uh, if i want to slice if i want to slice a particular uh, string a particular string from that array or uh, or from the uh, uh, from your existing string from a master string if you want to cut is a, a certain part right so at that point of time we are having uh, one more uh, method that is like slice sir search is sorry for the nail okay suppose if we are if we want to slice a particular uh, string then the syntax is like the first one uh, is like starting position and second one is like ending position so from the four i am going to slice some six things uh, and uh, i just want to display the uh, sliced part so can able to slice here as four um, no, not uh, four plus six, ten, ten, not ten, nine. Okay, so now you can find raise here. So if you want to get all the string raises, okay. So with the slice, you can able to slice out a particular uh, keyword from an uh, you know um, uh, string from a major string so here it is just like this right the first parameter is like start position and second parameter is like end position okay and uh, next uh, thing we are um, suppose if we want to get a substring uh, if we want to get a um, substring so that is also like uh, like this actually the second part means uh, um, str plus substring so to get this value str underscore plus dot substring String and uh, here I am going to uh, let us think I am slicing some uh, 11 
to some 11 to sub 13 okay 11 to some uh, 13 uh, places i am going to slice so at the point of time i should get the in in value one second i think this is not saved Okay. Okay. Oh, this is a little um, not supported. Uh, I will. Uh, I mean, I think it's not supported in the current versions substring. I think you can ignore this. I will let you know about this actually. Earlier versions it is there, but the current browser versions it is not available. Okay. Part of that substring, if we want to replace a particular you know if we want to replace a i mean particular string so at that point of time uh, i am going to go here uh, replace and uh, i am giving here raises and uh, and i am uh, giving here uh, with the where well, i am going to replace that uh, raises with the with some something else some um raising, raising. Okay, uh, the replace is the parameter which will replace wherever the value it is having the with replace. Uh, I mean, um, raises it is going to replace with raising. So here, this is right, replace. So now oh, I, I can able to get the value. Uh, can able to see that uh, value. It is like a um it has been replaced with the uh, existing value um, suppose if uh, we want to uh, I, I mean replace with the i mean i mean yeah once again okay so if we want to convert the values again, I, I can able to do like this the score yes for case two per case yeah that time I can able to go next year let's start to upper case to upper case and uh, so I am going to convert everything to the uppercase now. Um, okay. So if it is to the lower case, like the same, the same kind, uh, I am going to replace with the lower case. Convert everything to the lo lower case. Okay. So the next one already we saw concatenation. So to uh, to be the a, a part of this, this uh, you know uh, doing like this arithmetic operation for for a concatenation, we can also concatenate with you know to concatenate. There is a method to, to concatenate that is like a you know, str dot to concat concat and uh, here I am giving str new str new right so with this I can able to uh, concatenate two strings two strings okay.
so um, yeah I should I should get this saved and also I can able to find now that uh, whatever the concatenate that a string is there that one. Okay. and also um, and uh, we have uh, some number number methods also numbers uh, also we can able to uh, do so for example uh, number methods are up there so we can able to use those uh, number methods while we are uh, i mean getting uh, i mean well uh, i mean while we are uh, uh, doing javascript playing javascript so we are we are having few number methods like two strings two exponential two fixed two precision uh, value of so i am going to discuss all of them right now so i just let like, just like think like i am having one uh, variable uh, you know, some x is equal to some 7.35 is equal to some 7.35 so if i want to uh, convert this value uh, to a string okay so that um, i should have here you know conversion like x dot x dot to string x dot to string and uh, if i want to concatenate uh, you know i mean uh, to uh, if i want to convert to an exponential format i can able to concatenate with two exponential and um, that let me think like i am giving here power 2 okay power 2 exponential power 2 and uh, if i want to concatenate this is for exponential exponential and uh, if, if here i want to concatenate to fix it if i want to concatenate to be fixed right so at that point of time uh, i am going to concatenate to fix it and uh, i am going to use uh, here some, you know uh, and zero zero means uh, uh, it won't it will show only the numeric value it won't show the floating value it won't show the floating value so if it is uh, for let me think here i am having more than one okay and uh, suppose if it is like more, more space uh, if i want to the up to the second decimal at that point of time i can give it to fixed and i have to give two i have to give it two i have to give here two so if i want some precision precise value so precise value so at that point of time i have to give here x x dot x dot some to precision and i can able to uh, if i am giving precision it will display as it is so if i want to make it like uh, with the first two parameters i mean first two floating values precision it will uh, give me suppose if i am giving a 6 it will give here you know uh, 4 7.4 likewise so let us see these results actually so first value is as it is like uh, it is converted to string and uh, second value exponential is the uh, value which is having as a power uh, as two and uh, then after that fixed value initial fixed value as it told it is it should be like an only numeric value display it is going to display only numeric value suppose if it is like an uh, precise value so it will take like a seven point three three six the second two values from there so three six pins it will go for the precise value means 7.4 it will take 7.4 it will take and uh, it will display that uh, 
precise value whatever the precise value we are having yeah One second. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So if uh, there is one more uh, method is there, that is like a value of, in the value of, that is like this let us take, uh, I am having here where some uh, y is equal to uh, 9.67, okay. So if I want to give the, uh, if I want to add the value of the both, right, so I can able to give like x plus uh, y x plus uh, y x plus y and uh, I am having here dot value of and uh, I am going to get the result of that this, uh, va value of okay so here it is like value of so I should get that uh, the both addition value with this. So uh, once it is like this, like seventeen point zero um, three six seven, that is the value. If we are adding the both, that's the one of the method we have. So and also if we we, want, we saw like uh, uh, the string, the numeric is getting converted to the string with the two string method. And um, suppose if we want to um, convert that uh, a numeric value to a string, uh, I mean, uh, we, we can able to uh, use with, uh, you know, um, new uh, number value with, with the number we can able to, uh, I mean, convert. So th there is uh, like this actually. Conversion. So, so if I want to convert here a uh, number, right? So it's like this: a number and uh, if I am giving here some uh, some ten or something, so it will get convert into the number. Since it is like a string, I am going to convert it back to a uh, you know a string okay i'm going to um, convert it back to a string actually and uh, so if you are going to convert anything to uh, some string value since it is a 10 it is getting converted to a number that's okay so if it is like an something like jack I am going to convert a string value to a number. So in this case, it will it will come with an you know um, nan actually. In this case, it will come with nan. Nan means not a number. Nan means not a number. So let us uh, see that here. So while we are converting 
we have to convert the value which is only a uh, sub, which is only the string should be having only the uh, uh, numeric value if it is containing the strings it will display like nan nan means not a number okay so suppose if we want to convert any uh, no, uh, no floating value to an integer so you can able to convert them with percent percent and uh, here i am going to uh, convert some no some 9.45 i want to convert this floating value uh, to an integer then it, it is like this actually it will come for 9 it will come back to 9 so this is a conversion from a string value it will pass us that uh, string value to an integer okay so if we want to pass a float float value it, uh, means that whatever the float value is there that has to be persisted as it is means we can go for pass float value so it is like this at 10 point some 3 3 i give or uh, 10 point 9 7 i give so it will in 10 use that value as 10.97 this will give that value as 9 right so i am going to convert as it is value to float okay this is about uh, some some of the conversions we have so uh, you're having any uh, doubts here